everyone welcome back so in this video we'll be talking about virtual network traffic car routing so let's go ahead and start so basically just make sure that uh, you have a resource group that you have selected so in this case i'm using the old one which i have created long back so if i click my uh, resource groups so these are the different uh, resources that i have created so it's just not i've created everything it's only a vm that i have created and a virtual network so to create them so you can just uh, click create and here search for uh, virtual network so click the virtual network and uh, create so you have to just uh, give the name and you can go to the next like you can just add if you want but uh, it is not necessary and you can see the CID annotation here and uh, tags if you want and finally review and create so it's just that you have to give the name so in this case uh, i have given my virtual network name as sample uh, uh, virtual network where is it yeah sample network so this is the network name that i have given and once you create this virtual machine then i have created my uh, vm so it will be the same process so in the marketplace just search for uh, virtual network sorry virtual machine so if you click virtual machine uh, you can see we have our virtual machine click that and uh, create so you see uh, it's in the same resource that we have selected uh, make sure uh, it is the same resource group and uh, sample virtual machine and uh, region and you have to just select the image that you want so in this case it's not that much necessary for routing so i'm just uh, took one random and uh, make sure you use uh, SSH public key or a password. So in this case, I don't want to download anything. So I'm using the password and uh, username as well as uh, password. So once it is done, make sure you just review and create it. So that, uh, that is all uh, you need to do and everything uh, is just default. So you have to just use uh, review and create. So it will be done for you. So if I go back, so this is the virtual network that i have created and this is the virtual machine that i have created and everything has uh, came by default so if you see like few settings uh, it has been uh, came by default so this is how i have created this uh you know uh network so inside this virtual network we have the virtual machine and uh, the associated public ip address so if i go back to the uh, network interface so right now we have to see the routing <clears throat> so how uh, everything is connected so if you go to the nic so here under uh, help you can see there is a effective routes so from here you can see how uh, everything are uh, connected the routing so you can you will be able to see the routing table so these are the default routes so just uh, wait for that so you can see these are the default routes that we have so for example let's say inside our virtual network there are like few other uh, vms a few other services uh, to which our vm wants to talk for that this is the first one so it it can able to talk to other uh, virtual networks sorry other services uh, in that virtual network since it's already specified it will be able to talk so apart from this you can see there is a second one which is uh, mentioned as 0.0.0/0, .0 .0 .0. so there is nothing a specific mentioned uh, IP address but instead of that it's just 000 so what does that mean so basically it's a CIDR notation that represents a route for all possible IP addresses so it's commonly used to define the uh, default route which means that any uh, traffic with an unknown destination will be sent to this particular route so in simple terms if we talk uh, 0.0.0/0 can be a thought uh, of a wildcard route that includes all the IP addresses. So if you configure a route uh, with this destination, it means that any traffic that doesn't match uh, a more specific route will be sent to this one. So this can be useful for routing traffic uh, from one network to another or uh, for configuring a default gateway for a network device. However, it's important to use a route with a caution as uh, potentially allow unauthorized access to the network. So, for example, let's say a user wants to go go to the internet and wants to talk to um, some XYZ uh, website. So he'll be redirected to this one and you can see it's active. So he can able to uh, access those websites uh, from this particular uh, virtual machine that uh, we have created. So these are the default routes. So 
if you want to change anything from this, uh, you have to use the routing table. So for that, it's a simple process that uh, we have done. So it's just you have to create. So if you click create, just search for uh, route table. So we have route table. So you can see we have got the route table. So click the route table and create. So in this in this case, I'll be keeping route table sample. So you can see here we have uh, propagate uh, gateway routes. So what is uh, you know what is this? So if you click here, uh, so select no to prevent the propagated uh, propagation of on-premises routes to this network interface in associated subnets. So basically, uh, you know, in Azure, this gateway network component that allows communication between different network or devices. So when a gate or when a gateway is uh, configured to propagate routes, it means that it allows automatically to advertise these network routes to other connected networks, allowing them to access the resources available on that network. So in simple terms, if we talk the prop, uh, the propagating gateway routes in Azure means that the gateway device will automatically share uh, network routes information with other uh, connected networks, allowing them to communicate with each other. So that is what it is. So I'm just clicking yes. So if you want to add tags, you can uh, and review and create it. So in this case, let's create that. So it's done. So let's go to our uh, routing table uh, that we have just created. And uh, in this case, uh, if you go to the routes, so right now we don't have any uh, routing here, right? So if you click add, so if I just give name as route one and uh, coming to the address prefix destination, uh, you can just add IP address and uh, here you can add that uh, IP address. So in this case, we can add uh, uh, the IP address that we want or we can just add the 00, zero that we have just seen before. So 0, 0.0 slash 0. So right now, if you see uh, our virtual machine can uh, be uh, can access this internet, but you can see the next hop. So if you click none, so this particular packet will be dropped. So the user cannot uh, use the internet, but uh, apart from this, uh, you can use other, uh, uh, you know, other uh, next of types. So if you want uh, the user to, you know, uh, go through the virtual network gateway, he can able to go through that virtual network gateway or uh, he can use virtual appliance in which like he can add the firewall. So in order to go to this internet, he has to cross the firewall and then go to the internet. So based on your preference, you can just add uh, this one. So in this case, I'm just clicking none and we can just add it. So we have added a route in which uh, we have mentioned uh, the next hub will be none. So the packet will be dropped. So we have created this and uh, if you go to the now we have to associate, uh, you know, uh, this particular route table with our, uh, you know, the virtual network. So if you see the virtual network has the default routes. So this is the route table that we have created. Uh, so you have to click associate and you can click the virtual network. Uh, did I use uh, any wrong here? If I go back resource group and the first one route table. Oh, you can see the location is East US two. Okay. So if I go back, so let's create other, uh, other virtual, uh, so, okay, I'll just leave this one default and let's create the other one. So similarly, route table. And let's click that and create. So it's, uh, it's HDOS and name will be sample route. 
here we will write internet so yes just we can create it okay so we have created that and let's go with the same process that we have done so just uh, wait for that to be processed and go to the resource group and uh, where is it there you go and I'll, i think there you go so if you go to the routes let's add that one next non click add there you go so we have added it and the next one is associating with uh, now you can see we were able to see the, the our watch network it's uh, just that we have used uh, some other uh, uh, you know area so if you see it's done and we just need to click ok so once you click ok all the routes that you have configured in this particular routing table will be affecting that uh, virtual uh, you know uh, network if you click ok so it's been saved and uh, so now if i go back and if i go to my interface and if i go to my uh, uh, effective routes So, uh, so you can see here it has been affected. So, whenever we try to uh, use the internet, it will not. As you can see, the state is invalid, and the other one you can see in the bottom. So that is how it works. So I hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video. If you have liked the video, please click the like button below and become a subscriber to my channel. Please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video and make sure you delete all the resources that you have created. Thank you.